so I have been doing quite a lot of shopping which is really bad but what can a girl do but shop really so I thought I would just show you what I bought really and where I've been to get all my things and yeah we're just a little haul so I hope you enjoy it um try not to ramble too much if you miss anything or you just want to like know a bit more information all of it's going to go up on my tumblr so yeah all the links will be in the down bar so yeah you can look at all of that so I'll just get started I went to Spitalfields with my mum I should do probably the best place ever to go and because I live in Coventry I feel like there's limited shops there and I just need new practical things really it rains all the time get wet feet get soggy that sort of stuff and I have always admired this stall in Spitalfields like I love it everything they have looks gorgeous so I was like right we're going and I'm going to look at their shoes and I'm going to see something that will be suitable so we went in there and it's called Shoe Embassy and they have um, a Facebook page as well and I bought some army boots I bought two pairs because it's naughty and they're just like this and they've got little like buckle hook things oh and a zip so you don't have to do the laces and they've got a really really grippy base and now these are real leather so they're going to last me such a long time and like all the inside is really nice and lined and everything so they're going to be so practical for like just walking around coming home and it'd be rainy and there's always a humongous puddle so I had to get some more army boots because my first ones I got about four years ago from shoe just died so I had to buy some more and then I also treated myself to another pair which are these and I absolutely love them they're just so soft of the leather and they've got really good grip as well at the bottom and what's so good about these is they've got like sheepskin I think it is on the inside and right at the very bottom this white stuff and they keep your feet so warm it's unreal how warm they are but I love them and they've got handy zip and oh, they had so many nice brogues and heels as well that look like brogues um, lots more other army boot type things with all different like coloured leathers and tan and all sorts so if you're in London go down to Spitalfields because we bought two we managed to get a free protector so it's just a transparent spray that protects against moisture and greasy stains suitable for any type of leather so you can use it for your suede shoes as well this was I think it would have been about five pounds but she gave it to us for free see so yeah, this is their business card shoe embassy and um, this is all their links let's just check them out on facebook or spitalfields where else did i go i went to a shop in liverpool street station and it's called Body Basics. Now, the woman in there is really nice. I would probably go there a lot if I was going into London all the time or if like, I lived near that train station just because they have a limited amount of sizes. But all of their dresses and t-shirts are really nice. And they're quite a good price because of the quality of the material. But sadly the dress that I saw wasn't in my size. So I got this cardigan instead. I really love the colour. And it's nice and thin. So I mean like I can take it off in when I get really hot in the studio. 
and what I love about it is this like pattern in the back I don't know how that's on there but it's just really really nice and I've never seen anything like that before so yeah if you can see like a little flowery pattern but it was just something I don't get to go to these places very often so it's something that I saw and I thought that's really nice and I could wear that a lot so I was when I was in Spitalfields, I was looking at all of their clothes and I saw this lovely t-shirt. I love it because it's just like all the edges are only just overlocked and they look really raw and it's kind of like, I don't know, they just go with my sort of casual look really. And then I love this print, it's got so simple, it's just like music note sheet with some notes and some birds and everything. Um, this is a, I think this was a small, but it's just like really nice and baggy and the back is plain. And the material, it was like £8 or something, but it's just really worth it. It's so nice. And like I said, I don't get to go very often, so I just splashed out a little bit, I guess. And then, because Republic is obviously closing down and I have Republican Coventry but the shops here in Blue Water are so much better so I went to Republic here and I saw this galaxy print top and it's like high low so this is the front and then it's lower, longer at the back and I thought well, that's just really nice because you don't have to wear it when you go out you can wear it like on a really nice sunny day because it's sheer and then the back is open as well so it's just got a little button here and then the back is open and the back is longer but I love galaxy print and I've been trying to find like a long maxi dress that, or like a midi dress that's got galaxy print on but I like haven't found one that's not £40 or whatever and this was in the sale the it's a branded one, so it's Lulu from Republic, but it was £32 and, now it's, and then I bought it for £15. But that's really good for like a designer as well. So yeah, I love this and it's really good quality as well. just feels nice when you in your hands. So I then went to Boots, because the Boots in Blue Water has changed now. And they've got a lot more different makes and everything. So I wanted to check them out. And they had three for two on like every brand of makeup there was. And because I didn't want to spend that much money on a new brand that I wasn't too sure of. I stuck with my favourite. And obviously I bought nail polish. So I got Barry M. Let me just get comfy. I got three Barry M's and if you're on my Tumblr you would have noticed that I did like a mini sort of thing on them. So I got these three. I got this purple. It's called Bright Purple 303. Now, I don't wear purple that often. But this one just looked like a really nice colour purple. That I could use like for flowers or something. And I saw this. Like a corally orange. And I thought. Well that's something nice. And I should wear brighter colours. This one is 296 coral. And then. I noticed something new that I would not seen in Barry M before. Which was the textured effects. And I've really been loving everyone's sort of. Um eggshell nail polishes and things that they've been putting on Instagram so I thought I'm going to buy myself one of these I got it in this really light colour I'm not really sure why but could work well and it's called Kingsland Road 305 I really love the name the name is kind of cute so because that was free for two I ended up paying £6.98 which isn't bad really so I was quite happy with that because the textured one was new so it was a bit more expensive but 
I think it would be worth it. And then I went to H&M and bought some well needed things. I bought a lint roller. Now, being a textiles fashion uni student, the chances of you leaving the studio without having any thread on you is very limited. This will live in my locker. This will be very, very handy. And I only ever see them in H&M, so I've got to pick one up. I also bought this ring. I love, 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 love turquoise stones. And I don't know. I normally think this is sort of a bit too much or too sticky outy or whatever. But this one just looked really nice and I sort of, I don't know, got a bit excited and bought it. But I love it. It's so nice. I think it just goes with my skin colour really well. And then I bought these sunglasses. Yes, I know, it's been snowing recently, but... I very rarely find sunglasses that look good and these were just in the right place at the right time so I picked them up I thought why not and I bought them and I love them I love the colour of them they're not too big like I can smile and it just doesn't look stupid so yeah and I think I got the receipt yep that came up to £14.97. So the ring was £7. The um, sunglasses, £6. And this was £2. So, I think I did pretty well there. And then I went to Westfields in Stratford. It's near my brother's new flat, so we thought we'd take a look. And I only came away with one thing, so it was quite good. But I'm sure I'll go back there again and check out all the shops that we don't have. So, I went to this shop, which I'd never heard of before. I think it's called Bershka. And I just got a really simple, nice, really light summery top. Because like I was saying, you're in the studios or whatever, oh it's inside out, and it just gets too hot, you don't want to be wearing like hundreds of layers, so it's just like that, with a really nice sort of lacy pattern, and then the back is all buttoned. And what's so nice about it is, I reckon you could probably wear it back to front as well. Just because the simpleness of it all, either way, would look pretty good. And it is quite baggy, it's got no darts or anything in it. So I bought that. So everything I've just mentioned, it will all be going up on my blog, my Tumblr. And all the links for everything will be down below. So there'll be close up pictures and just a bit more of a description of like where I got them from and everything. So I really hope you liked this video. I'm sorry if it was really long. Um, I'm also going to be doing swatches of like the nail polishes I bought just so that you can see the colours better and everything. So yeah. Um, please like my video. Please like request if you want any nail art tutorials or anything. And I'll just see you later. Bye.